Hello, today we're looking at this idea of something called continuous and discontinuous variation. So continuous and discontinuous variation. Now you may remember if you've seen the video previous to this that the word variation means differences. Differences, so differences in features perhaps. So we've got a whole population of mice here and you can see there are some differences the fur colour being the most probably the most obvious one. So that's this, the idea of variation. Now the idea of continuous variation and discontinuous is another idea that we need to know about. So when we talk about continuous variation, we're talking about variation that we can measure with a numerical value or with numbers. It can be measured with numbers. And these numbers can be any number in terms of whole numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 20, 50, 70, or even uh, decimals, 3.9, 3.975, and so on. So any variation that you measure using numbers is continuous, and any variation that you measure as categories, categories, It's called discontinuous variation. So what do I mean by categories? Well, categories is something like color. So if you look at the color of the mice, we don't, we can't put numerical values, we can't put number values to color, we just give categories. So we've got light brown, a couple of mice light brown, brown, uh, light gray, gray. So these are categories, and we describe that variation as discontinuous. So, for example, if we were talking about something like tail length, tail length, have a think, is that continuous variation or is that discontinuous? Well, length we measure by a numerical value with numbers, millimetres or centimetres, and so that's going to be continuous variation. So if we were looking at the variation in uh, tail lengths of these mice, you would say you were looking at one example of something that shows continuous variation. Now you can record continuous and discontinuous variation as graphs. So if we were, look, if we were looking at, uh, say, some discontinuous variation, and the colour seems to be the best one to look at, here we have the fur colour of the mice, and on the y-axis over here you might have number of individuals. Individuals, I'm not going to fit individuals in there, but number of individuals of that particular fur colour, and we'd have numbers on this uh, y-axis here. So you can see here we've got more light grey than grey, we've got more light brown than brown, and mostly we've got light grey. You could tell that kind of information from a bar graph, which we use to show discontinuous variation. So this shows discontinuous variation. You can see down here on the x-axis, these are categories, so colour categories, and we show numbers of individuals by height of these bars. Now, if we were showing continuous variation, this is a slightly different graph in that we have, for example, imagine we're talking about the length of mice. We have uh, grouping, so this is 50 to 60 millimetres, 61 to 70 millimetres, and so on. And what you would find if the population of mice is large enough you'll find a few mice that are at the shorter end, that are very short, a few that are very long, and then some that are somewhere in the middle, which is the average. And every time we draw a graph like this, this is usually a histogram that we draw, we can join up the points or the tops of the bars and we always get what's called a bell curve or a bell-shaped curve. a bell-shaped curve, and this happens if you have enough mice. If we were only looking at three or four mice, you wouldn't get a bell-shaped curve um, because there's not enough mice that you're measuring. However, the key points here are that we've got discontinuous variation as shown by a bar graph. Over this side, we've got a bell-shaped curve on a histogram shown that, that shows continuous variation, continuous, variation. 
And these are usually the two types of graph that we use when we're talking about continuous and discontinuous variation. Okay, so just to finish off for today, for this short video, let's have a look if we can figure out out of these types of variation which are continuous and which are discontinuous. Okay, so if you remind ourselves that continuous variation, we assign a number value. And for discontinuous, it's a category. Category, then this might help us. So it might be an idea to pause here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six examples. Uh, pause here, have a think about where each one might go. If you've downloaded the work along sheet, you might just want to do this in pencil or something um, before you do the final answers. Okay, so I'll give you a moment to do that. Right, so let's start with eye color. This is that a category or is that a number value? We well, don't give a number value to eye color. You give a color, which is a category, so that would be discontinuous. Uh, width of the leaves on a plant. Uh, width is measured in millimeters or centimeters in this case, so that would be a number value that goes into continuous. Weight, again, would be in newtons, so you'd be giving that a number value, so that would be continuous variation. Blood type. So for humans, blood type, common ones are blood type A, B, O, or AB. And these are categories. They're not given number values. So that would be discontinuous variation. Thumb length, again, a number value, millimeters or centimeters, goes into continuous. And the types of species of tree in the wood. So you could say oak tree, elm trees, and whatever other trees you might have. These are categories. These are not given numerical values, so that would go in the discontinuous variation column. So hopefully that made sense. You should be able to describe variation as continuous or discontinuous and just recognize that with a discontinuous variation graph, it's usually a bar chart and there's no pattern. And with a continuous variation, if we have a large enough number of samples, we always get a bell-shaped curve or the bars show a bell-shaped pattern when you um, count out the numbers. Okay, so that's it for the video for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.